Hey guys, and welcome to another video. Um, this one, yes, is quick succession from the other one, uh, as there was a topic that I wanted to cover regarding the uh, key fob remote uh, for a query. Um, so first things first, thanks to all the newer subs new subscribers and all the existing subscribers, and uh, keep watching, keep liking, and uh, all being well, I'll still carry on with uh, more and more videos on different topics. Um, as before, send the questions in, queries in, etc. And I should be able to give, that gives me some material to work with to create more videos. And as I said before, if you like them, please uh, click on the sub, uh, subscriptions, click on the likes, and uh, if you can, click on the uh, donation link. So now, without further ado, we are going to talk uh, about the extras on the key fob. Now we had a query. The key fob video that I did um, a few weeks ago, that was pressing the key once or double press, triple press or press and hold. It didn't cover uh, key combinations. So there was a query about using key combinations. Now you can do key combinations within the software. So I'll tell you what I mean if I bring this up and go over to my key fob. Um, here it is. So here's my key fob. So as you can see, you've got the single button presses, which I've actually done as part of the scene. And then the single door, this is the press and hold option. So again, I've done it all as part of the scene, so I'm not gonna bother. We'd never bother doing it in there. And we've just run it all via a scene. But here, when you can choose a sequence of up to five uh, button presses. Now, that one would have to be done within the product itself. But the problem with that is if you're running it as part of an alarm sequence. So for example, you want to turn the alarm off using a five combo uh, key fob press. There is a problem with that. When you've opened the door and your countdown timer has started, the Fibaro thinks it's in an alarm state. Now because it's in an alarm state and there is no checkbox on here to say keep this scene active even while the alarm is running it means this key combination doesn't work so in that scenario we're pretty much stumped but now i believe there is another way of making this work because now i found a way of actually putting this key combo as actually part of a scene if we run it as part of a scene it means it will work um, providing we've done the checkbox so let's uh, let's create a combo so click on the advanced tab and Sorry, I don't know that. and go down to my leave all that alone because they're all set so actually it's on general and I forgot let's create a combination so I'm going to create a combo of say square circle square circle as one combination okay press close because if you remember we have to press the two wake up buttons for it to save it so just press that saved and let's just refresh the page there we are that's my um, one combination done now let's do another combo we'll do x triangle x triangle add sequence close that and let's press the the two wake up buttons again and it's done the same thing so let's refresh again so now we have two combos here square circle square circle and then triangle sorry x triangle x triangle so these are my two key combinations we know from when I was playing with the software, this is called a key seven. So we've got six buttons on there 
and with a combination in fact it's probably easy if I bring up the scene to explain it so let's run my uh, here it is key pop scenes now when we first did this uh, we did the scenes didn't we and here it is so key ID is one and then the attribute was pressed key ID one attribute press two press three etc so those are the and then you've got the key ID two and then you've got the pressed double press triple press held down and released but if you look on here when I was having a look at this and I found something interesting so Fibara key fob if you look further down here we actually have extra properties here for key 7 key 7 pressed key 8 9 10 all the way up to 12 so I tried experimenting and basically the first key combination that I've done in there is my key 7 the second combination I've created is my key 8 so if I created uh, another four more I'd have 9 10 11 and 12 I've not gone any further I've already done two just for play around so I've not actually tested so what might do I'll test it so let's go back onto here let's create another key combo so this time I'll do minus plus minus plus add sequence update and refresh and let's do another combo so we'll do this way that one and that one and close and refresh and we've got one two three four oh that's all it's done set parameter six Okay, let me refresh it again. Looks like it's overwritten. Oh no, it hasn't. It's one, two, three, four. That's correct. Sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Add it, add it in. Update again. So that's number five. One, two, three, four, five and number six is we'll do that and update and let's refresh again so we've got one two three four five six let's do one more oh number of sequences of six has been reached so that proves my theory so that will be then so this will be classified uh, so this will be classified as ID keep seven this is key eight key nine key ten key eleven and key twelve in the lower coding so if I go back onto my scene, um, I've already created a template. Uh, key fob test, and here it is. So this is based on the previous template. So the um, I've got a J table, so that's why I've got that line in there. So you might not need line number eight, uh, nine, and eleven. This is where you need so same thing as before sa just a local variable is a source trigger for event and data and then it debugs my code there and then i've got the different code so i'm just going to copy this and paste it and then i'm going to amend the number so i've got seven eight nine ten 11 and 12 and then I'm going to change the debug codes 
accordingly. So what I'll do, I'll copy this scene. Uh, um, I'll copy this for you all, and I'll actually um, put it as part of the download package. So we can just use uh, this as an example. The other thing you need to amend is here. This is the scene ID. Uh, sorry, the central scene event. So it only uh, we need it to be triggered by the various different um, triggers. So we'll start off with seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So we've got the six triggers here from key press seven to twelve. It's not like the other scene where we can just do a general one. And this way, it's specific to these commands only to trigger the scene. And then it will read how it's being triggered. So seven to 12, and then it will activate seven to 12. So my key combos. So if I press save, so that's all saved now. So this scene is a generic scene. And once you've got it, make sure it works. And then here is where you would type in your own personal commands. So for example, let's just uh, do my turn on. And on this one, I'll say cinema dimmer turn off there. So that's where you would actually add your commands. So let's... Uh, Let's do it. Right, so here's my cinema dimmer, so you can see it running. And here in the debug window, you should be able to see the different various different key combinations. So let's go. So if I press start, it gives you a, um, an error, basically because this will only work when it's actually triggered by a remote, the key fob itself. So I know sometimes we test a scene to make sure it's working just by hitting the start button but this is quite normal on this particular type of scene. So if I start with, um, square circle, square circle, there, there we are. So we've got the, oh, we don't need this part in. So let's clear that line. That just gives the, I think it's a JSON table it gives. So that's why it does that. So as you can see, my dimmer has now actually turned on. Um, so my second combo was, so let's do it again. Square circle, square circle. There we are, key seven. So the next one was triangle, X triangle, X triangle. Lights has turned off and we got the key eight come up. So we have a, a minus plus, minus plus, key nine. I see I've not allocated any command to that. So we'll square x, square x. Was that a bit slow? Hello. Yes, I was a bit slow on, on, on that one. So let's do it again. Square x, square x. Yeah, 10. Circle, triangle, circle, triangle. That's key 11. And uh, number 12 was, um, I forgot what 12 was now. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, here it is. X minus, X minus. There we are, key 12. So that was key 12. As you can see then, if you want to use the key combos as part of scenes, and use it as part of the alarm system. Remember, you can tick this box, do not allow alarm to stop the scene while alarm is running. It means then it would trigger, uh, sorry, you can use your key fob combinations to trigger the scene and therefore, in this scenario, turn the alarm off. Um, I hope that was helpful, hope that was useful. Um, hope that answered that query that I got. And anything else, give me a call, uh, email, or uh, leave your comments in the section. Thanks for watching and bye for now.